All my life, I waited for the great adventurer to offer me a place at his side. Pay tribute to my kind from my journeys along the Silk Road. And be my turn. If it pleases your greatness, you may take my son. Father, what are you doing? Father. Mark, this will not be forever. So wait, uh, December 12th is when Marco Polo will finally be ready for everyone to gorge on. Lorenzo, if I can start with your good self, just to kind of set it up for people that may be interested in taking a look at it. 13th century is where we begin. Marco Polo, he ends up in China. So tell us a little bit about the setup. I don't know, this normal guy, you know, 17 years old, decides to walk and get a, you know, to China, walking with his father. And uh, so he, he, for three years, uh, so we see this huge trouble. Um, and then he arrives to meet the most powerful man that he heard that ever seen in Kublai Khan. So it's, I don't know, it's a good plot, right? Yeah. I would say yeah. that, and it's true. And we are, so we are telling the true story that really few know. Yeah, I, I That's just... beautiful, because you, we can say that reality can be stronger and much, much more magnificent than imagination. And what's great is that you guys have this very unlikely relationship uh, with the Kublai Khan. Like he kind of forges this relationship with this with this young punk from Europe. Um, what do you think he sees in him, Benedict, that he kind of admires? Well, I think he sees a little bit of himself in him. In, in, uh, I mean, uh, he's got a bit of like, abandonment issues, <laughs> and he's sort of yeah. taking him uh, under his wing. Uh, you know, he's very sort of intuitive. He has these kind of his eyes and ears. He's kind of like, you know, and Kublai has thought of things that, you know, he, he would, uh, he would uh, be a, uh, uh, make a very good emissary. Mm -hmm. He becomes like, you know, the, the, the king and the clown. Yeah. So it's a beautiful relationship because you can, the king can, the clown is always honest. Yes. So yeah. the guy is honest. So he, you can see, he knows that we say the truth. Yeah. yeah, and he's also kind of, in a way, he can sort of confide in him. You know, mm -hmm. trying to, you know, at some point, he becomes his therapist. Yeah. Because uh, he doesn't quite know who to trust with it sometimes. What's it like being part of something of this scale? Because, like, already just reading reviews of it in advance, someone's saying it's like the next Game of Thrones, and I know that probably is probably brought about because of your showrunner, uh, Dan, who's been heavily involved in the project. But also, this, I heard someone uh, say it's kind of like. Um, Almost like New York, uh, sort of gangs of New York, that type of um, you know that kind of big immersive kind of uh, story. So when you're involved in such a big cinematic production, Lorenzo, um, what is it like? Is it overwhelming at times? No, it's it's the contrary. Mm -hmm. it, it's overwhelming if you're afraid of the people you're around and you don't know what they're going to do. If you know that you're surrounded by the best professionals in all of the world, of course it's ambitious. The project is a, is a risk. I would have compared the series to any other series so far, because we, 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 we are really different for the plot. We are really different. We shot, it was a journey for us. I mean, we shot the journey of Marco Polo, we shot it really in Venice. You know what, in, what, what, what it's like to shoot in Venice? Oh, I say it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. There, then Kazakhstan. You remember Venice? Worse. And then Malaysia. So it was, was a, a massive thing, really intense, but it was a dream. For me, was a theme park because I don't I, I don't have anything to lose and I I just I'm Italian mm -hmm. I can bring it on the screen and that's something good great for the character and then just ride it away every corner of the land beneath this blue sky is ours for the taking a man who proves his loyalty to me can take whatever he wishes